Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here at Cannon Hall Farm. Now you probably know we are well underway with lambing here and we've had a lot of triplets born recently and a lot of them we have been able to adopt onto other ewes but a lot have ended up in our lamb crash, which has grown in number quite a lot. So we're gonna go in and see how they're all getting on. Hey! So here we are in our lamb crash. Well, usually this whole pen is our lamb crash when they get a little bit older. But for now, we're just in here. We've got a few familiar faces to you all. Um, this big lamb, is the one that started the whole crash because he was the first one needing to be a bottle fed and he does have a nickname it's called big ears and that's super funny we have had a couple of additions in the last few days um such as this little one unfortunately when rob and roger were out checking the sheep in the field that that one's mum had turned against it for whatever reason she had twins and was feeding one of them perfectly fine but the other one she was like butting she was sending it away sending him away not allowing him to feed so best thing for him is to like come back inside he's going to be trained on the bottle which is going quite well actually and then hopefully he'll pick up how to feed from the wall kind of following all the other lambs so when they do graduate from the bottle we have a big milk drum behind that wall and the lambs can get a drink whenever they want these lambs do act quite differently to like a normal lamb you'd see out in the field who might kind of run away from you if you went up to them these will come straight up running to you they are quite humanized and they tend to kind of stick together in like a big gang themselves because obviously they don't have a mum living with them constantly so they kind of pile up together when they're sleeping which is super super cute and especially when we come in at an evening time they enjoy like running around this pen which is really really good to see when they were all like full of energy and stuff we're gonna jump in check on these ones make sure they're all okay and I just want to double check the milk machine is running correctly it's something we do a few times a day just to milk sure make sure there's always milk available in like those teats because sometimes we have to like manually push the milk through from the other side if they're not drawing it through themselves so these are our teats that our lambs will drink from so behind this wall there's a big drum of milk and that is something we keep heated up as well so they always get like warm milk here so all you have to do is come up and this is how they'll get their milk basically sometimes we often have to kind of pick the lambs up and show them and for so some lambs it can take a lot of reminders for them but some of them you'll literally show them the milk and that's it then they're happy as Larry even though we do prefer all of our lambs to be out in the fields with their mums what we often find with our pet lambs is they grow a lot bigger a lot quicker and that's because they have milk 24 7 whereas like a sheep feeding her lambs you know can't produce an infinite amount of milk for them we have 12 lambs in our lamb crash at the moment but I think we're going to have a few additions over the next couple of days because we've got a few triplets that are needing to be brought in. We've also got a second batch of sheep ready to lamb over the Easter holidays and that is going to mean we get quite a lot of lambs to look after. So by this time I imagine all these will be getting quite big and strong. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our crash of lambs here. You're probably going to be seeing a lot more of them in the future because they tend to have very big personalities. So I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll, from me and all these little lambs here, we'll see you soon. Bye.